But first, after our story aired yesterday about a 70 year old election worker who has been waiting two months to receive her check in the mail after working the election, more calls have been pouring into our newsroom from other election workers in Baltimore City. They have similar stories. As Joseph Ojo shows us, many of these workers need this money now more than ever to survive. Armstead Jones, who oversees Baltimore City's election, says that the city uses an outside vendor to send those checks to election workers. However, he is pointing the finger at mail issues as the reason why many of these election workers haven't received their money yet. But if you ask the workers, they say they are not buying it and want their money now. To handle record voter turnout for the 2020 election, Baltimore City recruited more than 1,000 election workers. I've been a election judge for over 25 years. Workers like Gertrude Bond have enjoyed working local elections, but after not receiving compensation for her work... It's just very frustrating. You know, it makes me not want to do this anymore, and I love doing it because I have a passion of making sure that the election is going correctly. She isn't the only frustrated worker. I worked the whole nine days from the 26th to the 3rd. I worked um, eight days down Camden Yards and one day at Patterson Park, and I have not received my money. Dolores McLean, who is retired, says she is owed about $1,500. She tells me she has worked as much as 12 hours each shift during the election, and that's why she can't understand why money she needs to survive hasn't gotten to her. They have said that the mail is slow. We know that the mail is slow, but I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's been almost 10 weeks. The mail ain't that slow. I got my other mail. Everything has been processed there in the mail. Armstead Jones, who oversees Baltimore City's elections, tells Fox 45 the city uses a third party contractor to send workers their checks. He goes on to say that there is nothing that he can do and that he doesn't know how many election workers are still waiting to be paid. McLean, on the other hand, is left to wonder what is going on with her much needed money. It makes me feel like I don't want to work no more elections because they should pay you because I know they don't got paid. And I did reach out to the Postal Service to find out why these checks that were sent in the mail are being delayed. I have not yet heard that. Joseph Ojo, Fox 45 News.